Hello everyone and welcome to my channel where we find out what's on the hook today. Well, this has been on my hook and I wanted to wear it this morning because it is the same pattern and you know me, I like to do patterns more than once. It's the same pattern as the Sorella little uh, denim cardi that I made in the jumpsuit color from Lion Brand Jeans yarn and that's what Crystal is wearing this morning. She's wearing the first one that I made and she's wearing a white turtleneck with it and styling with a beautiful um, necklace that I dug out of my jewelry box and I thought well I would dress her up a little bit but she looks really pretty in this. You can also of course wear it with a tank top or anything but this is a long sleeve shirt because it's cold outside. So Crystal's modeling that very beautifully this morning. This is one of my favorite patterns and I, I've made it twice now and I probably shouldn't make it again because I'm going to look repetitive when I get dressed in the morning. But I made it in a uh, the jeans yarn blue and there are several shades of blue so you would just you know pick out the one that you really like. But this is one of the blues in the jeans yarn and I'll stand up and model this for you. It's made in the same size as this one and I was going to make it a little bit smaller because there's plenty of room in this but I think having plenty of room in a sweater is fine and that way I don't like I said don't have to pull it together in the front too many times during the day so I'm wearing this with a collared white shirt long sleeves but you could certainly wear it with a t-shirt or a tank top in the summertime so it's a very versatile pattern and if you make it out of a nice yarn that drapes nicely but is warm you can wear it all throughout the year so I have found this to be a very useful pattern the, the pattern is made and I, I've already told you this once but I'll tell it again for those who didn't see my previous video this is made in three pieces a front and two fronts and a back of course the sleeves are actually crocheted into the front and back, so there's no sleeve making to be done. And that's really nice. And then there is one, uh, it's probably four rows of rib front post, uh, back post along the seat sleeve. So it's very easy pattern to make. So you might give it a try. I'll put the link down in the box below and you can try it if you want to. It's, doesn't take very much yarn to make either and it's a nice little um, piece that you can add to your wardrobe and help you you know dress up your outfit just a little bit. Um, another thing I want to do today is to give a shout out to Rachel at Cozy Corner Crochet. She did a shout out for me and I so appreciate that. I have a lot of subscribers uh, saying that they came from your channel so I so appreciate that Rachel and I love your channel too. I watch all your videos when they come out and uh, you're so calm and so articulate. I really appreciate you. So just wanted to give a shout out back to Rachel. I'll put her link down below in the box and jump over there and subscribe to her channel. Her videos are so wonderful. They really are. And she makes some really beautiful hats. She made a, uh, I wanted to bring this up, she made a vest for her daughter and I'd like to make one for my daughter too, but um, out of the fun faux fur um, yarn from Lion Brand. And I loved it. I'm going to have to make that. So I've got the pattern. I'm going to start working on that, maybe for the winter time. <laughs> it's just about spring. So I have to get more into the spring mode. And maybe late in the summer, I'll start thinking about making things for winter time. So. Anyway, I wanted to give a shout out to Rachel and thank you so much uh, for telling your viewers about me and y'all jump over there and subscribe to her channel. Uh, a work in progress that I have going is a, uh, a scarf and the pattern is from Nastasia. I think she's, you know, from Europe somewhere, but uh, she has free patterns on her website. And I saw this scarf pattern and I thought it was really pretty. The scarf is made straight, but right in the middle it comes down into a V. And I wanted to show you that. I've only got a couple of rows left to make on it, so this will be a finished object maybe uh, in the next few videos. 
and you can see there where I'm still working on it. But see the middle of it, how it comes down into a V. I don't know if you can see that. It's really cute. And what I found out, and you know me in patterns because I adjust them all the time. If you'll notice, the V on her scarf comes way down in the front. It's actually a more pronounced V. Well, I realized I was making the pattern incorrectly when I made mine. I still have a V on mine that comes down in the middle, but it doesn't come down as, as dramatically as hers does. So I'll be making this again and doing it correctly. But anyway, I, I cut my losses and I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. It looks kind of pretty, and if you wear it like this with the V in the front, it'll look very nice. So I made this out of Shawl and a Ball. There it is. Y'all have seen this before if you do much crocheting. Um, it's a very light thread, but the colorways are beautiful, and they do blend into each other very easily. If you can see that, there are no striping, not really much at all striping on this. Most of the blues are very similar colors. So you don't get that striping effect, which I'm really not a fan of, although I've made things like that before. I like this shawl in the ball yarn because it, the colorways are so gradual. You can make something out of it and it doesn't have stripes. So that's what I like about it. Anyway, that is a work in progress and I will be finishing that pretty soon because I'd like to wear it. In fact, it would be really pretty with a white blouse in the summertime just to kind of dress up an outfit. So I'll model that for you next time when I get it, when I get it finished. Another work in progress that I have, this is a shawl day, I guess. Um, this is the Stormy Waters Crochet Infinity Scarf. And I know I've already done a work in progress on this, but I'm almost finished with it. It's supposed to be 51 inches long, and I'm not quite there yet. I have probably seven or eight more inches to go. But I wanted to show you the colorway in this. This is quite beautiful. And this is done with Unforgettable Yarn by Red Heart. Let me just get that up there where you can see it. It is absolutely gorgeous. The colors in here are beautifully chosen. They really are. They're beautifully chosen. And when you crochet it, they just blend in again. We have some striping on this. It's not totally blended in, but it is quite nice. And the colors are so fall. I wanted to go ahead and finish this so that I can be wearing it in September and October. But this is the yarn that I use. This is Red Heart Unforgettable. Not sure if that light's blowing that out there. Um, and here's the, here's the yarn. And one reason I love this yarn, I really do, it's a slick yarn, but it does have a halo on it. It has a halo. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's a, it's a dramatic halo. But because the yarn is so slick, when you crochet it, it, it has a sheen to it that is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that either. The best thing to do would just be a, buy a ball of this yarn and make a scarf out of it. it. I'm still on the first ball, and I think I'm going to be able to finish the whole scarf with one ball. And I have another ball here that somebody might be receiving a scarf for Christmas <laughs> made out of that other ball. And it's just like this one, so they can wear it and we could be twins or something. But anyway, I really love that. I think that is the, the colors in there are absolutely gorgeous. So that's all I had for today. I hope that you'll join me next time to find out what's on the hook.